Yes, welcome fellow Blues and lovers of football to Chelsea headquarters. We will give you latest Chelsea news and more. I'm Alex. It's always a pleasure to have you. Thank you. All right, it's weekend. Though Chelsea is not having a game today, Saturday or tomorrow, Sunday. Our focus and attention remains on our game coming up against Middlesbrough on Tuesday. Remember, we lost the first leg of that competition to Middlesbrough, one new. So we'll be looking forward and to see how far Mauricio Pochettino and Chelsea players can turn the one goal deficit in our advantage to ensure we qualify for the Carabao Cup final. Remember, if we qualify for the final, it will give us opportunity to lift a trophy at the end of the season, despite a roller coaster kind of season. We've been having a good and a bad time, no consistency. Yesterday, Chelsea recalled Cesar Casadi back from Leicester. A lot of persons have been asking why would Chelsea have to call the Italian midfielder back? Why don't they just allow him to complete the season loan with Leicester and all that? So all those questions will be answered during the course of this video and also looking at all that related Chelsea in news. So before we dive into this video proper, please, if you're a Chelsea fan, do me a huge favor by sharing this video, like this video and also drop a comment below. On YouTube, we are already 20,000 plus while you're on Facebook, it's uh, 6,700 if I'm not mistaken. Thanks to you guys, without you guys, this will not be possible. And without you, this video will not make any sense. So please join me to build a Chelsea community like this, where we can discuss Chelsea-related matters and things affecting our darling football club as far as football is concerned. Thank you once again. All right, on Wednesday, the Chelsea players returned back to training are following the three days off. Meanwhile, today, Saturday was not of exception. The Chelsea players were also seen at Coburn, but today on the gym section. Mikhailo Mudrik, who is well known to be a lover of the gym, was spotted on the gym. Kono Galaga, Levikovi, Chaloba, and some few other Chelsea players were spotted. But the truth must be told, the Chelsea players are really putting a lot of effort from the training section, which we are seeing. Remember last season, a lot of sport ponies criticized Chelsea players for not even scoring during training session. That they were finding it difficult to even score during training session. Of which we could literally agree to that because during match, we can go three matches, four matches, even without scoring a goal. But this season, it has been something different under Mauricio Pochettino. The Chelsea players have been scoring goals, though we are still striving towards consistency. But we are hoping with 2024. Winning our first game against Fulham, we will be able to build on that and see how far we can turn our deficit against Middlesbrough and also uh, securing all three points playing Liverpool come on the 31st. So moving on to other Chelsea-related news, yesterday Chelsea recalled the young Italian midfielder Cesar Casadi. A lot of persons have been asking questions, why did Chelsea call the Italian midfielder back? Why don't they just allow him to complete his loan stint with Leicester? But one of the reasons and what we are getting from an insider source is that Chelsea had to call Casadi back from Leicester because of injury. Uh, Romulavia is out struggling with injuries. Chelsea signed Romulavia with injury. Unfortunately, when we signed Romulavia, according to our coach Pochettino, in his press conference, he kept on giving us assurance that Romulavia, Chelsea are trying to uh, build him up in terms of match fitness and all that. But for over five months we did not see Romulavia till December Romulavia returned and he only managed to play around 35 minutes and returned back to injury so for that aspect we are not going to blame Romulavia that is why I keep on saying it's high time for we to question or start to question the capability of the Chelsea management in terms of a recruitment of players signing players with injury the sign was the Fofana with injury Kani Chukwe Meka is an injury prone player Chris Fon Kuku also is known with injury then Romulavia managed to play 35 minutes and now is out on the sideline till we don't even know when Romulavia is even coming back. Then Leslie Ugochuku, who was gradually adapting to the Premier League, also suffered hamstring injury, which we see him at for around four to six weeks, according to the report. So Chelsea was left with very few options with the likes of Kono Galaga, Enzo Fernandez, and also Casedo as the at three senior players who could play from that central midfield position or the defensive midfield position. So Chelsea had no choice than to call back Andre Santos, who was not having enough game time with 
uh, Nottingham Forest. While for Cesar Casadi, who was having a fringe or a little game time with Leicester, not that fantastic in terms of game time. So Chelsea had to also recall Casadi to come occupy these positions because at this stage of the season, the second half of the season is a critical moment for we to see how far we can challenge for the top four of the EPA. Because if any of these three midfielders, available midfielders, Kono Galaga, Enzo Fernandez Casado should have injury or have suspension. Pochettino will find it difficult for him to be able to fill this gap. Considering the fact that uh, Kani Chukwemeka is just returning back from injury, so probably still struggling with match fitness. So, with the recall of Cesar Casadi, it will give Pochettino ample opportunity to test the young lad and also making use of Andre Santos to feed the void left by Leslie Gochupo and also Romo Lavia. Meanwhile, going over to other related Chelsea uh, uh, news, talking about Fistrock coming up, we're going to be having a tight schedule despite this little break. We're playing Middlesbrough on Tuesday, Carabao Cup, second leg tie. Then FA Cup against Aston Villa will be hosting Aston Villa in Stamford Bridge, 26th of January. Then 31st of January, we'll be taking on Liverpool at Anfield. That is, we'll be traveling to uh, Liverpool to play the Reds. And after the game against Wolf coming up on the 4th of February, it will see us go for international break and the resuming Premier League activity on the 12th of February 2024. So fellow Blues and lovers of Chelsea, this is the latest Chelsea news from the camp and also our training section. If you find this video worthwhile, if you find this update worthwhile, please do me a huge favor by sharing this video, like this video and also leave a comment below. Thank you.